Hello and welcome back to the Devworm channel. Today we're going to be going over how to create this day and night cycle just like this. As you can see, it just faded into nighttime and it should fade back into daytime here in a second because it is day for 15 seconds, night for 8 seconds. Obviously, you can change those times however long you want day and night to be. But before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to ask if you can go down there, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video. So more inspiring game developers can learn to make their own go to games as well. And it is now nighttime again. So let's get started. Let's make this day and night cycle system real, real fast. Okay, so to add the day and night cycle first, we're going to go and create a brand new scene. And we're going to make this scene a static body 2D right here. And then in our static body 2D, it's going to basically be just a overlay on top of our main world, right? So we're going to need a color rect, right? And we're obviously going to have to make it a little bit transparent, but we can make it you know, pretty big so it covers the entire thing. The color, I'm going to go with complete black and we'll do with like, like 150 kind of. And this should look good for night. I mean, but then again, we can also save the scene or let's also uh, rename this first static body we can do we can call this like day and night and then we can save the scene and then we can instance it into our world right and then we can see kind of how nighttime would look in the game so nighttime would look something like this and to be honest that looks pretty cool right because this is day this is night day night so that's cool so now we can go into our color rect. We got the nighttime color. So just play around with that to make sure you got your right nighttime color so it looks good. Then we can get an animation player. And this is where we're gonna make the fading animation. So we can click on this little animation button. We can click new and we can name it day to night. Or first let's make night to day because we already have it on our night scene. So we can go to our color rect and we can just Go to the color up here and we can click this key button and create and it will create a keyframe and then we can go let's actually make this a longer let's make this like a three second animation and we can go all the way to the end and then we can make the a value on our color rect empty and then we keyframe it and then if we play this you'll see it slowly fade into like completely transparent so it looks like it's coming from night to day and then we can click a new animation, a new animation, and we can name this day to night. And then obviously our first keyframe, we want it to be completely empty. And then at the three second mark, at the three second mark, we want it to be faded into 150, our, our A value to be 150. And you see, it fades into that nighttime color. So that is good. Now we also need a timer, which will be used here in a minute. We'll make it like a three wait time. We'll make it a one shot. We'll also make it an auto start. And I'll explain what that does here in a minute, but we can add a script day and night .gd. That is cool. And in this script, we're gonna need different things, right? First, we're gonna need our variable, which is gonna be our state. So our state can either be day Let's see, so our state can either be day or it can be night, right? Those are the only two states we have for day and night cycle. Var change state is, this is gonna be a Boolean. So we'll start it at false because when we're changing states, we'll say, okay, we wanna change states. Let's make change states equal true. So in our process function, we can process that, right? But again, I'll explain this all in more depth here in just a second. We can have var length, uh, length of day. And we can also have var length of night. And we can equal this to however many seconds, are, right? So we'll have night at eight seconds. And these are seconds. And then we'll have day lasting for 15 seconds, right? And obviously one minute is 60 seconds. So let's say you want it five minutes, then you do 300 seconds, right? But that's just completely based on how long you want your day. I'm just gonna make it short just for purposes so we can like kind of tell the difference in day and night and it can cycle through multiple times without us having to wait 10 minutes. But then we can go down here and we can actually get our function from our timeout, right? So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna click on our timer node, click on the node, click on the timeout, day and night, and it gives us a function. 
Now in this function, we're gonna check if state is equal to day, right? So if our state is equal to day, then we want the state to change to night, right? And then else if the state is equal to nighttime, then we want the state to equal to day, right? And then we can make our change state uh, variable here. We can just do change state is equal to true. And then we can create a function, a process function, process delta function. Now in this function, this is basically where we're gonna like call to a different function to like change today or change tonight. But let me explain. So basically first in our process, this is a loop that runs competitively over and over and over. It never stops. So we'll first check if change state is equal to true, which means it's time to change this, change the state, right? So if it's equal to true, then we want change state to equal false, right? Because now we've, we're about to switch it right now. So we don't need it to be true anymore. And then we'll say if state is equal to day, right? So if the state is equal to day, then we want to change to day, but we're gonna make that function here in just a second, right? And if state is equal to day, basically what this means is if the state, is, the, new, the new state is day, then it's nighttime right now and we wanna to switch to day. So our change to day function, we can do function change today if I can type but change today and we can basically in here we're gonna first of all we need to call our animation so we'll do animation dot play and we will play our night today right because we're changing from nighttime to daytime and then we also want to set our wait time so we can set our wait time which is going to be timer dot wait time is going to be equal to the length of our day and then we can just start that timer our timer dot start timer dot start and then we can also we got to go back up here into our process function so if state is equal to day then we change the day but we also have to have a if state is equal to night right which means a new state is going to be night so we want to change it you know we want to change to night and then we can make a new function down here function change to night and basically we can copy this right here instead of length of day we need a length of night and instead of night to day we need day to night everything is basically complete now right so basically it should work completely fine but i also want to go up here just for you know just when we start so we only have to change this right here and it, if we change this to night right so if we right now if we change this to night it's going to be all messed up we play or it, it already starts at night so it already starts at night but let's say we want it day it starts as night right so to fix that, we can just make a ready function, a ready function, and we can do something like if state is equal to day, if state is equal to day, then we want our color rect dot color dot a equal to zero, because that means it will be fully transparent, else if state is equal to night, then we want our color rec dot color dot a equal to I think we had it at 150 nighttime is, is our nighttime color. So now if we play it day, it starts as day. And if we change this to night, we start at night, but that was uh I don't know why it starts completely black. So we'll have to figure this out. But 
as we can see it fades into day let's see if it fades back maybe it should be 15 seconds after which is right now and it fades that works but when we so else if state is equal to night color color rec dot color dot a is equal to 150 is that not what we had it set at i think that's what we had it set at right it is okay so i'm gonna be honest i have zero idea like literally zero clue why it's why it's starting like this or right, maybe let's see if they i mean that's not going to change anything though because color rec dot color dot a is equal to 150. right so okay we'll we'll mess with that in a second we'll figure that out here in a second but if we switch it to day we go to our world we instance our scene and we go with day to night actually we already have an instance we play the scene it's daytime currently and it's now nighttime looks good let's see if it fades back to day and now it's daytime and it should go back to nighttime right or obviously it's gonna go back to nighttime but when will it do so right right now okay so that works fine it's just if we go to the script and we make this night and then we play in the world it makes it it's black to start for some reason i i i'm gonna be honest i have no idea so if state is equal to night color rec dot color dot a is equal to 150. what if we equal it to zero then it's just so does day right yes what about 90 right then this should be lighter than our nighttime but it still starts as black okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys i i'm just as lost as you are i'm gonna i'm gonna put this error on godot this is godot's fault to be honest I, that's that's what i'm gonna say this is godot's fault because i'm i'm actually completely lost i have no idea why he's doing that that's never seen that before in my life but i'm just that's godot's fault that's an error on godot that should not be happening on your game but as you can see everything else works perfectly fine as it's daytime now it fades into night it's gonna fade back into day it's gonna do all that different stuff and uh yeah daytime over here daytime over here it looks good but uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you learned something important today and i hope you know this helped you add day and nighttime into your game. Obviously, you're not going to have a nighttime at 8 seconds and a daytime at 15 seconds. It's going to be more of like a daytime at 8 minutes and a nighttime of 4 minutes or 5 minutes, right? Something like that. But I hope this series is helping you become a better game developer. And if it is, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on this video so more inspiring game developers can learn to make their own Godot games as well. But until next time, have a safe and a wonderful rest of your day.